So tell me about your job here, what you do and what you've learned. Day to day, what I normally do is I'm Ed's assistant, so I help him make sure he needs where he needs he is where he needs to be, um, running schedules, answering phones, all that kind of stuff. But I also, you know, get to sit in on meetings and sit in the writers' room when they're pitching things for the TV show and kind of seeing how. Uh, the day-to-day -day operations of running a TV show are done and you learn so much that you could not learn any other way than just actually following someone around and learning how to do it yes. from him. It's um, a chance to enter the business at a very high level as an insider and get the privileged fly on the wall position. Um, and I believe that it's true that Ed has been very good about hiring young graduates and he's placed over six of them over the years and many of them have gone on to have their own shows. One example is Liz Garcia who had the job that you have and who now has her own show on television, Memphis Blues. Yeah. What else is Ed working on currently that you've been involved uh, in? He's doing that. He's working on another pilot that he created um, called Big Mike, which is about a police officer in San Diego. Um, as well as some other things. You know, he's one of those guys, he's constantly working, constantly doing everything. So it's been great because it's not only TV, it's movies, it's books, it's... Mm -hmm. he, he's constantly on the move, constantly doing stuff. So it, it's, you're learning all these things at once and it's been... Really yes, he, he's respect. an amazing guy because he does publish a series of children's books under his own name also. So he, it is a great experience for you. And how do you find it personally here? Do you find that you can make friends? Yeah, I, I think that was my biggest concern when I decided, you know, before I had decided to move out here was that I'd go out here. I'd grown up on the East Coast. I hadn't ever really been to Los Angeles or, or even California before and so I wasn't sure what to expect um, but I definitely got out here and was greeted not only with you know a lot of my friends from school that are now out here but also uh, the whole alumni network that was been out here for you know years or whatever um, and just meeting all those people it's it's really nice and helpful because like they'll talk to you about whatever you want um, everybody's been really nice uh, one story that comes to mind is I was at the airport maybe uh, coming home for Thanksgiving um, and I was wearing a Wesleyan shirt and got tapped on the shoulder by someone and it turned out that he was uh, Dan Schatz who's another Wesleyan <laughs> yes, grad right. and we talked the entire airplane back home so it was you know just stuff like that has been amazing that you can just meet people without even trying to. Dan Schatz works with John Turtletob, the director of the National Treasure series, Turtletob also being a Wesleyan alum, and Dan Schatz has developed the television series Jericho, Harper's Island, and others, so uh, it's smart to wear a Wesleyan sweatshirt <laughs> at the airport it doesn't hurt. and to be from Philadelphia, which they yeah, both are. Yeah, we both we had that That's connection. Great. Well, an example of that is that one of the reasons that we're all here is that tonight CAA, the Creative Artists Agency, which is one of the biggest agencies in Hollywood, is giving a party for the Wesleyan alumni that are all working in the film and television business here. It's a great opportunity. Once a year we do it. And you meet everybody across the generations. It's a chance to make friends, make connections, make business opportunities, uh, see all of the people in the many, many different jobs that people have here. We have over 400 to 500 working alumni in the film business in Los Angeles. And that doesn't include other cities, doesn't include New York, it doesn't include all of our alumni who are teaching or working in museums or doing other interesting things. And um, it's a great camaraderie and a great spirit of support. And I think that uh, you speak well as an example of what that could mean in your life. So we're very happy to share that information with you. And I would like to say that this is sort of an inaugural um, example of what we're going to put on our website so that you could have a sense of knowing what it's like to be a film major at Wesleyan, both during the time you're in classes at Wesleyan and when you leave. We'll talk to many of our alums, our most successful alums, of which we have many, 
such as Joss Whedon, creator of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Miguel Arteta, whose current movie Cedar Rapids is in the theaters now, and so many others on film and television in all aspects. And we hope that you will look here to see what we do and what we can talk about. We'll give you a tour of our building. We'll take you, the Center for Film Studies will take you into our classes, and you'll have a chance to see what it's like to come to Wesleyan and to study film. We're very proud of the Wesleyan family of film majors we have and of our faculty and of uh, what we're able to do. So we look forward to talking to you again. So thank you for coming to our website.